Hi, I'm Bill from CJ Pony Parts. Since we added a lot of power to our 2015 Focus ST project car, we wanted to make sure that the chassis and the brakes were up to par. We already installed a full airlift performance suspension, along with a set of killer Willwood six piston front brakes. Today we're going to finish off the braking system by installing this 12.8 inch rear kit, also from Willwood. This Willwood rear disc brake upgrade kit is the perfect complement to the front brakes we already installed. It features a two piece 12.88 inch rotor that is drilled, slotted, as well as vented. As a single piston caliper and uses the same BP10 brake pad that our front system uses, which is really nice because it's a mild engagement but works great for the street or track use. These are hydromechanical calipers, so they have a built in parking brake. For this installation, let a lift or a jack and jack stands, 3 8 ratchet, 8 millimeter socket, 12.11 millimeter socket, 18 millimeter socket, short extension, torque wrench, 7 16 line wrench, 11 millimeter wrench. 14 millimeter wrench, 18 millimeter wrench, small hammer, flathead screwdriver, and vice grips. We begin the installation of the Willwood rear kit by removing the factory caliper. The first thing we're going to do is disconnect the emergency brake cable, then disconnect the line and the bracket here so we can remove the caliper. Then we move on to the brake line by disconnecting the bracket up here, remove the bolt. Now we'll remove the hose from the hard line back here. We'll start by removing this nut to separate the two, and this clip here will be removed to pull it off the bracket. With everything disconnected, now we can remove the two caliper bolts to remove it from the bracket. With caliper off, now we can remove the rotor. Like I mentioned before, it comes with a two-piece rotor. You do have to assemble these rotors before you can install them on the car. We already bolted them together, so it's pretty easy to do. Put a dab of red Loctite on each bolt, then you have to torque them to spec in a certain way. What we do is label them with tape to make it easier to remember the actual order you want to torque them down. Here we're torquing to 155 inch pounds. Now the rotor is ready to be installed on the car, we'll begin the caliper assembly. Now we can begin actually installing our Willwood kit by starting with the Willwood caliper bracket. Take this applied bolt and washer, let's take those through, and put two 30,000 shims on each one to get us started. Now we'll bolt the bracket on with the flat side going in towards the bolts. Tighten that down. We're going to make sure the surface here is clean. We're going to install the rotor adapting ring, again with the step portion facing outward. And we're going to put our assembled rotor on. Just grab one lug nut to hold it in place so we can center the caliper. Before we install the caliper, put a little bit of lubrication on each one of these studs. It makes it a little bit easier to get everything together. Once you lubricate the studs on the bracket, we're going to put two 35,000 shims on each stud before we install the caliper. Before we can mount the caliper, you want to drill out this hole here for the e-brake. The e-brake cable on the Focus needs to be drilled to .560 so the cable will fit this caliper properly. Install the caliper and then install the hardware.
Now you want to check for clearance, make sure the rotor is centered in the caliper, make sure it spins freely, nothing's interfering with it. If you do have any issues, this is where you would go back and reshim it. In our case, we're good to go with the shims they recommended. Now we're going to pull out the caliper bolts, torque them to spec, and put some Loctite on them. We want to do this one at a time because you have the shims in there. Put a little Loctite on the bolt, the red Loctite, and then we're going to torque the 30 foot pounds. Now repeat the process with the top bolt. Now we're going to check inside and see where the pad is sitting in relation to the rotor. If you look in there, we can see the pad is actually sitting high. We're going to pop the caliper back off, so we're going to remove those shims, push it down a little bit further so the pad sits the rotor properly. Okay, now the caliper is good. We're going to torque the bolts to 30 foot pounds. Now we're going to fish the factory e brake cable through the hole we opened up earlier. Put that seat and unconnect. Now we're going to move on to the included stainless steel brake line. We're going to take the fitting for the caliper. Just loosely install it in the line first. See that loose line has some flex to it. Banjo bolt with one of our washers, put it through, and thread that into the caliper. We're going to fish the line over here and connect to our factory hard line. Now connect the line to the factory bracket using the original hardware and fish it underneath the bracket. The line tightened up, now push it through the bracket. We're going to install the clip. Lastly, connect the fitting and the line to the caliper itself. Now you want to repeat the process on the other side, bleed the brakes, and then adjust the parking brake via the instructions provided by Wilwood. This Willwood rear disc brake upgrade kit is the perfect complement to the front brakes we're already installed. Looks great on the car, it's going to take the braking of our Focus ST to the next level. The installation is pretty straightforward, it's a direct bolt-on for your factory parts, but figure about two to three hours total, you'll be back on the road in no time.